So y'all think old people deserve the respect they g- we I, give them? I feel like, yeah. nah, so? I, it's not just off the bat. Like, if I see an old white lady, I'm going to be like, how would it? Never mind. But <laughs> damn, I'm going to just be like, they got to give it to get it, in my opinion. Or you got to give it to give it. Like, if I give it to you and I get it I back, I ain't going to okay. cap. These old niggas getting rude as fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh, God. I should be born in Like, bro. bro type, though, they bro, is. This one old, bro. This shit happened to me at Walmart. I swear to God. I was just... Oh, this man. is this is one of the like most. I felt like, like that's why I love black people. Bro. Out, bro. <laughs> that's why I love about. So listen, bro. This old nigga walked up to me and he was like, <laughs> "Y'all ain't got no birds, see? Get some out." <laughs> and then this this black nigga beside me and he looked at me. He was like, "Man, fuck that old ass nigga." Yeah, oh, that, yeah, you right, nigga. I swear to God. It was a white dude that said it. Oh, yeah, white, white nigga. He said, "Y'all ain't got no birds, see? He said, "Y'all ain't got yeah. no birds, see? Get some out." <laughs> get some more. And then he was like. Man, fuck that old ass nigga. <laughs> bro, I'm That's just saying. Crazy. They'd be like, bro, like, them niggas be weird. The white people, I mean, the old people at my job, black or white, it don't even matter. They're just rude as fuck. Like, nah. they don't treat you with no respect. Oh, God. Like, they just, they talk to you any type of way. I'm like, dang, bro. I'll be saying yes sir, no sir. They just talk to you any type of way. Bro, like, bro I was making this this woman a rap. She was like, she was sitting there on the phone. But I'm new, so they, this dude was teaching me. He was like, teach me how to do it. Bro, she got so mad and walked off. I was like, I said, you don't want you don't want your rap? She's like, no, you over here fucking talking, this and this and that. I'm like, you talking? You know what I'm saying? saying? It's like, me. dog. I said that, like, and, my, and then he was like, don't even argue back. Just don't argue back. Did she pay for it? No, she didn't make her oh, shit. I, I was thought like, she paid for it in love. Like, that is factual. Oh, I don't know what it is about older people, bro, but I feel like, I feel they, like they put something in the world I mean, or something. They just feel yeah, like, you feel me, they've been here. They need respect, but you feel me, you got to give respect to get it, though. There's so many niggas been here. What's special about being here? Realistically, I think because they know more than us. Yeah, don't get me wrong, bro. I treat my old, my yeah, old, because they wise, bro. They be but yeah, they, is, they take the, advantage of you from the yeah. jump. Like when I when I first meet an uh, older person, you show them respect from the jump. But when they start disrespecting you, exactly. that's when you that, that shit turn off. Like I come in with the yes, ma'am, yes, sir. But if they want to come at me disrespectful, then I'm not gonna keep finna, yes, sir. No, I'm not gonna kiss their ass. It's when you're telling me. If you don't act, bro, and oh, you just God. Tell they be like, bro, but that's here. only y'all. Y'all only have problems with that shit. It, it's how you say it. You, you, can you, be like, say hey, it. They, it you can be like, hey, can you do this for me? I'll be like, anytime I'll say yes, swear to God, yeah, every single but time. But then when they be like, like, do this, like, do that. Do this, fuck, nigga. I'll be like, that don't what even be, it don't even be on that type of timing. Yes, though. it do. Yes, it don't. At Walmart, oh, God. Yeah, you don't. You got it's the, but I'm saying, if it's, <laughs> it's the way they said to you. If you would have heard the way they they tried to talk to us sometimes, bro, you'd be like, "Who is you talking to?" Like, yeah, that? UPS. I don't, I don't go for that. <laughs> UPS. Yeah, I don't go for that. Like they, they like it's like they talk to you like they above you or something. I understand you literally are above me, but like you're not gonna talk to me like this I'm a, they, they I'm a told they, they told this nigga get more bird seed. I would have slapped his cap though. <laughs> that was my old ass nigga though. I ain't gonna fuck. Smack old man. Yes, I would slap him. Yeah, he, you know, I promise you. In the case. <laughs> but how y'all feel about getting yelled at? By old, by by old what, person? By like old at person? work, hey, by your old person. I just girl. laughed. Bro, my boss yelled at me one time last bro, last time my boss. I was we had nothing to do, right? <laughs> we sitting in the warehouse, not shit to do. No work. We finished everything like an hour before. I'm standing there on my phone. Uh, Everybody else on their phone. But he's my superior, so he come in there. Like he can only say shit to me. He come in there and say, Why the fuck you on the phone? It's not shit being done. I look at him and say, Bro, we done finished everything. Like I was having a bad day. Like normally, Bye. I wouldn't have spoke to him like that, but Bye. I got pissed off. Like, oh, so you got bitch? You look, you look, you look. He, 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 yeah, he holds you. <laughs> Slow down. That's how he said hey, it. Are you all right? Bro, he <laughs> said, he said, why the fuck is y'all on your phones? And he looked at me. He said, it's shit that need to be done. I looked at him, looked him dead in his eyes. I said, we done finished everything already. You come in here, you been out all day. I was so pissed. Like I normally wouldn't speak to my, uh, cause he was like he's directly over top. Higher up. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Like he was my mentor type shit, but I don't know. He just called me on a bad day. But is that wrong of me for for no. firing back at him like that? Nah, especially when they come at you crazy. Yeah, he. Can't but I heard you gotta like kind of take that in the work world. Like you gotta you gotta be able to just go like, okay. Yeah, and I was like, that's so why I ain't working at nine to five that long, bro. I swear to God, God, I'm not. I be I be in my job. I'm like, bro, I can't do this shit forever. Wait till we go to NT. I just get a job when we go to NT. Yeah. Probably. So sure. how y'all feel about getting yelled at? I ain't answered. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 It just depends, bro. Am I by who, oh, by who am I getting yelled at, bro? Uh, uh, manager at work. No, I I'll just laugh. I'll just sit there and laugh. I mean, like, I, I don't. I'm not taking that shit serious. It's a nine to five. Yeah, if it's yeah, I like it's not like it's not like you think me gonna do something. It's not my career job, bro. I said this since I left my first job. 
If it's not my career job, I'm not taking it serious. I'm sorry. I've told him. You're going to get paid the same as a nigga that don't do shit. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't care. All the niggas who overachieve and all that shit. That's what I'm saying. Like, give 150%. Like, nigga. Our manager used to yell at us and we used to talk back to that nigga. Yeah, you talking about. Like, who the fuck is he talking to? to? Oh, that small ass. Exactly. Like, bro, staying an hour late on a nine to five job, I just can't, though. I'm telling you which people it is, bro. No. Them niggas who went 100 laps on the pacing test. Oh God! Them the lie. niggas yeah. that give 150 percent at a nine to five. Oh God! Job. But not at certain Bro, some, what? some jobs. I'll I just I'll do that. that. Like some jobs I'll give 100. They used to OD on the pace. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I used to be like, hey, baby, cause we were athletes, so we'll get it done. We'll do some high numbers, but like, why are y'all still going? Oh, God. We're trying to hoop, bro. That's what I'm saying. Coach would be like, Coach would be like, y'all need, y'all need 20 to pass. I give him a clean 30, 35. I'm sorry, baby. but it'd be this. We used to, I mean, you feel we was athletes. We try to show out oh. for the girls a little bit, so we'll do like, smooth like 50 something. 60 something, tight shit, tight shit. Nah, shit. A little bit extra, like a. a why is you doing 100 and something? Come on, bro. It beat the Hispanics. Like when the beat when, <laughs> when the beat changes back to the bro. original don't beat, bro. It. You, don't you know how they change the beat every time. Oh God, that's your reset, set, bro. Boy. Like, y'all, bro, y'all shell. Coach says twenty, giving him twenty one. I'm telling sitting you, the fuck out. I don't push ups and sit ups, everything like that. Oh, nah, yeah. patient test. One Coach over. says twenty, I'm giving him twenty one. Yeah, I'm you get one over. So, bro, so I get that hundred percent, the same as that nigga doing three thousand. Oh God, like if you go in the way the beat, then change back to the original beat, bro. What's going on, y'all? Brand here from Toronto Talk Podcast. And today, we're here to talk about our first sponsorship by Manscaped. They sent us an all new and improved performance package 4.0. And in the package, it comes with the lawnmower 4.0, the weed whacker used for nose and hair trimming, ball deodorant, and ball toner. It also comes with boxer briefs and a nice little travel bag. What else do your balls need? I'm here to talk about the lawnmower. The lawnmower I had before the sponsorship, and I like to say that it's one of the best ball trimmers in the market. The new ceramic blade on the trimmer is great for reducing accidents, thanks to the all new skin safe technology. And it also comes with a 400K LED spotlight that's used to see all through the crevices. And the trimmer is waterproof too, so you don't even have to worry about a mess when you're shaving in the shower. They also have a weed whacker, which trims your nose and ear hairs, and it has skin safe technology, which reduces nicks and nags and anything of that sort. Also, it's waterproof too, so you can also do that in the shower as you please. And they have a ball toner and ball deodorizer, which will definitely help your hygiene and save your balls. And they included free stuff in the Performance Package 4.0, like the Manscaped boxers and the travel bag. Personally, I wouldn't miss up on this opportunity. So go get right at manscaped.com using code SWANTALK20. Get yourself 20% off and free shipping when you use code SWANTALK20. Get 20% off and free shipping with code SWANTALK20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with at manscaped.com with code SWANTALK20. Unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. I don't, wow. hey, maybe they pushing themselves stuff because they trying to wait until I'm trying to work out, but I don't be thinking like that. Nigga, I'm trying to, I'm trying, I'm trying to dodge move, ball, like, get it all like, the way. Dodgeball. We used to play dodgeball until they banned it. Bruh, I gotta. I'm trying to move. Bruh, listen to this question. Sucks the best. What was worse in middle school? Getting your meat lit, leaked? What? Hey, what? Leaked, bruh. Worse? That's my type of time. <laughs> getting your, getting your meat sorry. Leaked on like you know, oh, dip it, yeah. yeah, or losing the fight, losing, losing the fight. fight. You also fight losing bro. the fight, losing the fight is so much worse. Exactly. It's you worse than getting your meat. I thought that was a hard you question. You get picked on until you leave middle school. That yeah, is middle school. Yeah, you, yeah. You middle just school, lose no fight. Middle school, yeah. middle school. Middle school? Now, but getting your meat leaked then it's like. <sighs> I mean, bro, that's what I said. Middle school, but because really, then you know niggas clowning. Dog. In middle school, nobody ever seen my meat. Why are you sending that shit out of middle school? High school, I can understand it. Huh? Nigga, it's just you a theoretical. We oh, always do that. Yeah. Yeah. I always do that. Like, like, always like, do that. Why are you so personal? Right. 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 Me personally, I wouldn't send that shit out. I'm just saying. I, but if you did. Nah. That's not easy, though. I'm not going to lie. Nigga, yeah, yeah, it's not easy, bro. Like, bro, I don't know. Losing a fight, you have to change school. I could lose In middle fight. school, you you, you had to change school. I done seen some bad. I done like, where's the road code? Like, six and bad 
like some, gonna like some bad fight. Like somebody, oh, oh, somebody oh, oh. got whooped in the lunchroom. That's already. Bro, I don't so know. then they threw him in the trash can. Like you know how in middle school oh, at the end of the trash no. can, like it's like four different trash cans and the whole lunchroom go. And they all like, yeah. cause he they? got punched on in the lunchroom, so the whole cafeteria looking. <laughs> then they threw him in there, cause like they threw him in the trash. Oh my! It God. was <laughs> over with. Like, I, I was like, bro, like, just kill I yourself. Lose, like, I could lose a fight and have my meat leaked on the same day, and I would be more worried about the fight. Yeah. Honestly. Wait. So, so the question was, which is worse? Yeah. Yeah. Like, which one would you rather have happen? I'd rather have my meat leaked any day. Yeah. Yeah, boys. Subscribe, my boys. Tee up on me. Get to a hundred thousand. Tee up. Yeah, there.